For them. What, okay, when Tavanello goes in that match, he has to get a takedown to win it. What were you thinking? I just went like this. He's, he's got the biggest heart on our team. I mean, he, he's had it since he's been little. And uh, he just dug down deep. I mean, he was awesome. What did I mean, you? If my money's on Tavanello to win the state title. Both, both the team and that. I would put it on it every time. What do you, what do you tell after after Busey uh, gets upset? You know, he goes out, gets the first takedown. What do you tell Big Ben and Tavanello after that? After that point, the boat, you got to have win one win one of the next two. What do you tell them? Actually, I, we were telling everybody that just win their own state title because it's theirs. You know, it's an individual thing. I said, guys. I know we want our team to win, but you know what? It's you. This is their their moment for in the in the sun first, and it both come great. You know what how, I mean? How about uh, Lau just kept wrestling? Oh, he's how, how huge has that been? I think that's what did it for us. I think that broke the ice. You know, Kagan had a tough match, but you know you're wrestling Jerome. In the dual meet, in the dual meet, he uh, sparked in the dual meet. Would you say the same thing happened today? No, well, absolutely. It was the same. It was the same type of thing. You know, it was like a duel. We were almost wrestling like a duel the way it felt. This is the fastest state tournament I've ever been at. You know, it seemed like I go, God, it's already 89. Usually it's drags. You know, so oh, it's just incredible. You know, I'm so happy for these kids and our coaches, our parents, everybody. They just worked really hard. They all they all came together, decided not to have egos and not to, you know. Power plays, you know, you don't get that every year. You don't get that all the time. We, we, we. Look at the look at the Wazoo faithful, man. Wow. This is special. Special. They dethroned the St. Edward Eagles. This is huge. Look at this, man. The support's unbelievable. Let's see, get some love from Dick Bliss. Big Ben, congratulations, brother. Talk about a little bit of your thoughts in it, or going into that match. Uh, just gotta keep working away. I mean, I got all these coaches, all of these teammates are surrounding me, and all that support, and that's what won the match today. Not me, it's the support I got from all my teammates. I couldn't ask for a better wrestler that I could go to practice with every day, wrestle Tavanello or Coach Jones or Coach Coffin, or get the best coaches in the world like Coach G. You can't ask for more than that. It belongs to them, not me. When you when you went up there, you saw you know you, you saw the guy before you win that match and uh, and win this basically uh, seal the state title. What your what are your thoughts? What, what, I mean, how does that affect you going up there? The weight lifted off my shoulders, less to worry about. I mean, Tav did his job. He did a wonderful job. He's awesome. I mean, that's a setup for me. Great. All right. So what what year are you? Senior. So where are you going to be going next year? Uh, not quite sure yet, but I did verbal to, to Walsh for football. To, oh, the football? All right, man. Well, congratulations. Great job. Great job. Congratulations. All right, last, last one for Coach Steve. Coach Steve. After the meltdown last year, absolutely. I mean, you lost. You were 0-9 one round last year. What? I think well, it's 0-7. Oh, it's 0-7. Rub it in more. That's okay. all right. But after that, after that how much did that stick in your your gut all year oh, and the guys? Till today. Till today. Till today. Yeah. All right. What do you got to say? What did you What did you do differently? What did you What did you guys think about so that didn't Same happen question. again? Well, <laughs> I think uh, we just decided that we're gonna bear down a little bit more and just be a little bit more dedicated. And, 
just did some things like weightlifting. You know, we just did a little bit more team things. We did some fun things too. We did some more team building. We decided to become better friends, better people. You know, it wasn't just about wrestling. We just needed to that that helped us grow as people, and that's what it's really all about. I was real proud of like Deuce and. You know, he, he handled himself well. I mean, that was a, you know, it was a tough match. He was ahead three to nothing. He kind of got away, got away from him. I think he got a little over, you know, but he held his composure. That means more to me than anything, you know. Do you think the ups and downs of Bradley Squire kind of uh, uh, epitomized yeah. what you got your programs uh, done yeah. in the last I mean, four years? Bradley, you know, um, him coming here, you know, Squire being part of our program is like, you know, He's the work ethic. He's the, he's the, you know, the model person. And, you know, everyone just kind of follows him. And when Loudon won that, I think that relaxed Bradley, honestly. Because Bradley's such a nervous person. And that's why he didn't win the next two. I mean, the third uh, junior is hurt, but it's, yeah. How long are you going to have that in your hands for? In the back? <laughs> How long is that going to be with you for? That long. <laughs> it's all, I just know it's here. I don't need that. Congratulations. Need that. Thanks for the time.